Those who are considering taking a job in government, you may want to hurry while there's plenty of positions open. Government is set to abolish them if they are not filled by the end of the year. Bim Santos with the story. Hundreds of thousands of vacant jobs in government may be in danger of being abolished if left unfilled. Budget Secretary Ben Jokna says there are now 264,000 plantilla positions that are yet to be filled. Of the total, nearly half are teaching-related jobs, followed by general civil servants, military and uniformed personnel, and lastly, medical workers. We cannot deliver our programs and services as efficiently and effectively as possible without our civil servants there doing the work. Deputy Secretary Leonor Briones says the vacancies in teaching and teaching-related jobs is not a result of inefficiency on their part, but of cumbersome requirements needed to hire teachers. Jokna says he will issue a circular before the year ends mandating government agencies to fill all vacant posts. All posts left unfilled five years from creation will then be erased. We don't want to keep them in, the, in our books for a long, long time, right? So if they've been un, un, uh, unfilled for the last five years, then there's good reason to abolish the position. Jokno says the reason for the staffing deficit may vary per agency. Though recruitment issues are likely to top since certain areas may find it challenging to have sufficient number of competent personnel. Amid the shortfall, Jokno says they are still bound to add more jobs next year. The most number of jobs in next year's budget are teachers and policemen with 10,000 each, followed by firemen and jail officers. In addition, the government also sees 1.8 million job additions per year from their Build, Build, Build infrastructure program. Majority of the additions will be from the construction space, including direct and indirect workers. To speed up implementation, projects will have three shifts with different sets of workers, thus boosting job opportunities. Merong isang assumption o assumption ang ating economic cluster na kung saan para yung mga project makompleto within the term of the president, kailangan hindi one day shift tayo, ma'am. Kailangan 24 hours. The Labor Department said they are also looking to encourage part-time workers from the likes of out-of-school individuals and students to fill low-level jobs. Bim Santos, We Are One News.